Hello everybody, this is uh, Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. In the video description, uh, I will list the uh, scriptures that I am going to quote or paraphrase in this video. <clears throat> there is a gospel hymn that starts off, um, I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. And here's the story now. Jesus said, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. I and my Father are one. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Jesus said, if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of of the whole world. Jesus is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Jesus gave his life a ransom for many. God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Neither is there salvation in any other. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. What must we do to do the works God requires? Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. By grace are ye saved, through faith, and this, not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, 
not of works, lest any man should boast. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law. Ye are fallen from grace. The gifts and calling of God are without repentance. Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. All the glory to God. Jesus Christ, my Savior.